Hi everyone, this is Johnny O'Nose, and I'm playing Starbound version 1.0. And in this Let's Learn video, I'm going to teach you how to set up a basic farm as well as show you my finished farm so you can see what a end game farm looks like. All right, so the first thing you need, you need like four different things to set up a farm. You need a hoe, you need some way of watering things, you need some dirt, and you need some seeds. So I stole some seeds from my farm. Got seven corn seeds here. I got a couple other things in here too. That current cor corn seed. There we go. Uh, so those are the four things you need. You need a hoe, you need a, something to water, you need dirt, and you need seeds. Now, a fifth thing, especially if you're in the early game, is if you want a planet that has some rain. Now, some planets have multiple types of rain-like weather. Like, you can have rain, you can have thunderstorms, you can have tropical storms and stuff like that. I think the forest planet that I built my first uh, my first farm on had, like, two or three. Like, both rain, storms, and, I guess, blizzards or, or whatnot. So, if you want to find a planet that has its own water source, which is rain... Uh, then you won't have to do any of the farming yourself right from the get-go. So let's go ahead and zoom on down to this uh, dry grasslands planet. See what we can see. Alright, so the next thing you need is a nice little bunch of uh, flat flat land. And it all has to be dirt. Not dry dirt or you know, dry dirt or cracked dirt. It's just got to be dirt, dirt, dirt. Dirt. Alright, here we go. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your hoe. And you're gonna go and till the land. You notice that the grand the ground is tilled by this little little marking you put into the dirt. Till a bunch of it, and uh, then you're gonna to want to water the ground. So uh, with the wooden watering can, it shoots out one little glob of uh, one little arc of water. And if you you can't move while you're watering it, but you can get about three to four cells at a time with each watering. If you use the normal watering can, it looks like this. See, so there's this is the wooden watering can. This is the regular watering can. If you use that one, it will spray a lot more water. And he'll do this whole like he'll move around so you'll you'll get more cells in there. You get like five or six, I think. The third way of watering is the is the sprinkler, which you can make once you're into the durasteel uh, tier of uh, of uh, no, ore. Let's go ahead and till some more, more uh, land over here. Now the sprinkler has a range of 15 cells on either side. So a total of 30 cells worth of watering with one sprinkler. I'm going to put the sprinkler right on the edge here. It also requires eight, spa eight cells worth of space. So let's make sure that it can at least go that far. So you'll see that, uh, let's get a, a block of some sort. Here we go. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it should reach about 15 once it gets to it. So it looks like we're right spot on. So 15 from the side. And just, just be aware that uh, the sprinkler does take up two cells worth of space. So keep that in mind when you're watering or you're, you're building rooms for a sprinkler. Now, the next thing you need are seeds. Now, there are two types of basic seeds. There's one that will, the plant will be still there after you pick the plant. And then there's the other one, which will, you will remove both the seed as well as the uh, object, whether it be a vegetable or fruit, along with it. I'll show you that once we go to our, to my, uh, my, you know, end game farm. So that's it. That's really all you need. Dirt, a hoe to till the ground, some water, as well as some seeds. So let's go on up to my ship, and then we'll zoom on over to my colony where I'll show you my end game farm where I have every single seed planted. That's the second one. So this is my colony here. And I have this little uh, platform rail thingy that allows me to get to each of my rooms. So as I was saying before, there are two types of plants. There's one where you can just pick the fruit or vegetable right off of the plant. So I got two bananas. And you will get either the fruit, plant fiber, or you'll get another seed. So you don't have to get seeds for every single one of them. You do have a chance of getting a seed whenever you, far, whenever you harvest a, a fruit or vegetable. And then there's the other type where you'll take both 
the fruit or vegetable or the, the resource you're pulling, as well as the seed, which requires you to replant it. And like I said, there is an opportunity for you to get, you know, like I said, plant fiber, and we got two seeds from that one. Actually, that was just one seed. But you do have a chance of getting more seeds. Doesn't look like we got it that time. But when when you when you harvest, you can get the fruit or vegetable, uh, plant fiber, or even an extra seed to go along with it. So as you can see, I've uh, I've made these little rooms. So they're basically uh, I think it's 34 by 11, and that's counting the ground underneath the dirt. So 34 by 11, <coughs> excuse me, is the most optimal way of using your your sprinklers. So in most of my rooms here, I've got like one. One to three different types of uh, plants growing in here. Got cotton as well. There's some potatoes, some carrots. Egg, egg plants, whatever they're called. And there are two types of plants that require water to grow, which is the, I think it's the coral creep and the reef pod. The reef pod is like the single serving type plant. And the coral creep is the, you just pull the coral creep right off the plant. Then I have my little animal farm down here where you can get milk and uh, milk and eggs, as well as more, some of the rare resources from um, these guys here. So like, if I click on this guy, I get a scorch core. And then from these guys, you get plant fiber and then milk from these cow looking things and then eggs from the chickens. If you get the robotic chickens, you also get an opportunity of getting some batteries and some other electronics that you're going to need for your high-end uh, things you want to build. All right, folks, so that's how you build a farm, and this is what my farm looks like at the end of the game. Please go ahead and leave any comments that uh, you, you might have, any questions you might have about Starbound or farming in general. And uh, thanks so much for watching. So this is Johnny Onos playing Starbound version 1.0. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.